whiskey loving legends to another episode of was it worth a whiskey and today we're going to look at johnny walker um, in particular we're going to do a review on the johnny walker 18 year old um, and just so we can get a idea of what it's compared to or comparison like i thought we'd compare it on a back-to-back -back also with the johnny walker blue label so we'll just open the 18 year old up first here fancy little box over there okay so there's the uh johnny walker 18 year old bottle that's it there nice heavy looking bottle we'll just take out the blue label at the same time out of the way too. We don't need the boxes really. Okay. So there's the blue level. So same quantity of whiskey in it. Both 700 mil. Um, one's blue, one's 18 year old. Obviously the 18 year old here is has an age statement of 18 years. Just pour a bit of that. Both at 40%. Just get a bit of blue label out here. Now the blue label is a non-age statement, so there's no age statement. Um, but they say it comes from the rarest of casks. One in 10,000 casks are picked for Johnny Walker Blue, so they say. So colour comparison, uh, the the 18 year old is a little bit darker, like I said, both 40%. Now there is a big price difference, of course. So the Johnny Walker Blue is is more than double the price of the 18 year old. Hence, kind of why I was doing the back to back with this. Mm. So the 18 year old, the nose is is, uh, is is quite nice. I get this honey, um, sherry notes, uh, raisins. I get some um, like maybe some brandy or brandied vanilla, maybe brandied vanilla custard. And then I get it, it's quite fruity or quite cit citrusly fruity. So I get some um, some mandarin. Some lime, a bit of cloves in there too as well. And there is a lot in this um, 18 year old nose. And there's, there's mint, I get the mint in the nose too. And there's, there's some like the fruit mints or that the um, orange pith of the fruit mints kind of note. And the ever, 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 ever slightest wisp of smoke in the 18 year old. Kind of keeps on giving. I also, also get a bit of banana in it as well. Okay, so that's the 18 nose. In comparison to the blue nose. So you got um, vanilla, cloves, Spice, a delicate honey, and then like a, a bit of a floral note, a um, bit, bit of heather maybe. So the blues definitely for me got a lot less in the nose. Um, it, it's more delicate. Whereas the 18 year old is more fruity and more robust. Um, I get a lot more sherry notes in it um, and just a lot more um, complexity I feel in the 18 year old on the nose. Mm. It 
So on the palette, on the 18 year old, I get a, a vanilla custard, um, this light caramel or caramel chocolate, that orange, um, there's a delicate spice in there in, as well. Mm. I, I, I get some mandarin. I even get some stewed apple in there as well on the palate. Mm. So also a, a really like quite, quite not complex, but there's quite a bit in the palate as well. And some beautiful spice. On the palate, I don't get any wisps or hint of that smoke. Um, but on the finish, I do get a very, once again, a very, 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 very light waft of, of the smoke on the finish. Um, with uh, macadamia nuts, uh, honeydew melon on the finish as well. That, that spicy clove. I get that mint, um, but like, um, like that, that Thai mint you get. Um, it's that long skinny leaf mint, that Thai mint, it's kind of purple. That kind of mint flavor on it. And then like I said, that, those whiffs of smoke. So I, 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 a really nice, I, I really bloody enjoyed 18 year old. I'm starting to think it may be my favorite Johnny Walker thus far that I've had the 18 year old. Let's give it a comparison on the palette and the finish with the blue label. Yep, the, the blues, it's smoother. Uh, caramel, a delicate chocolate, or oh, choc roasted nuts. And then finishing off, it's quite, it kind of peaks and then goes down quite quickly. Peaks off to a bit of a burnt caramel, then a bit of tannins and then, then oak. Um, very nice, very smooth, um, but definitely there's more flavor and more complexity in the 18 year old. So on that, I have no doubt in my mind, um, there's no question in my mind, even if they were the same price, I would buy the 18 year old over the blue. Not a question in my mind. Now for a score on the 18 year old, so I'm gonna give it a 90 points for the nose. It's a gorgeous little bloody nose on this. Um, and I'm gonna give it a 88 points for the palette. And I'm gonna give it a 87 points for the finish. Giving it a grand total of 88 points for the 18 year old Johnny Walker. Good score. Now, being it that this channel is, was it worth it? Um, so the 18 year old you can pick up for 55 pounds or a hundred dollars give or take um, And on that and on 88 points, I think it's definitely a worth I think it's a, a thumbs up and I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10 Now in comparison to the blue now I'll stick the link down below or pop it up here with my full blue review um, so that got a score of, of 86 points, um, and it is more than double the price. So um, it basically gets a thumb down. But I just wanted to do a straight comparison side by side so I could get myself get the flavors and then hopefully uh, deliver those flavors to you guys out there if you're thinking of buying one of these whiskeys. So all in all, Johnny Walker 18, is a good bloody whiskey. And um, for, you know, all those blends out there, someone did remind me the other day, they said, you know, without without these blends like um, uh, Johnny Walker and Shivers, Scotch wouldn't be where it is. And um, Johnny Walker, no matter whether you love it or hate it, yes, I believe some of their whiskey is overpriced and some of their whiskey is shit. But in this case, and some of their whiskey is bloody, bloody beautiful. So, Give it a crack and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.